What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to create a survival game in literally a couple of minutes. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will need to kickstart our project will be this easy building system from Fab. It is totally free, so I will link it in the description and it will include everything that we need to create our building system for our game. So putting our preview, having like a radio list of items that we can select, going ahead and chopping some trees to get some resources and also going ahead and placing objects on the level. So just go ahead and add this into your Epic Games library and we're good to get started. So then on your Epic Games library, you just go ahead and search for the asset and click on create project. Now, first of all, let's put a name. In this case, let's put like survival game in mins. And then you select the folder and then select the engine version. Now, in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and create this project in Unreal Engine 5.6, which is the latest one. But as you can see, it is not available. Oh, well, no worries. You select the latest available version right now, which is 5.5 and click create. And once it is created, we're gonna go ahead and simply open up in Unreal Engine 5.6 and it will simply upgrade and everything will work. So over here, just double click and it will start to open up in already 5.6 as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, the project has opened. Just go ahead and let it load the shaders for a couple of seconds or minutes, depending on the PC that you have. And if we go ahead and press play, as you can see, we can walk around, we can press or hold Q and we have of this radio menu with the things that we can build. So we can select a foundation and then press E and we start to place it. So I can start to build and then select the door frame, place it. And as you can see, it starts to look pretty good. And you go ahead and start building the, <laughs> the game, which is quite cool. But if we go to the building system folder in the content browser, and go to maps and open up demo stylized you will see that we have a really cool map that we can test things on and we press q well basically hold q and then go to the next step you can see that we actually have different foundations that we can use which are higher quality models and it is quite cool so yeah, this is our building system and you can do anything with it. But first things first, let's go ahead and change the character because right now the character is a mannequin and we obviously want to level up. And by the way guys, if you want to learn Unreal super fast and code games so easily it feels like autopilot, join my Unreal club. You will get access to more than 500 assets from my tutorials, the same ones I used to make viral games played by streamers like I Should Speed and XQC. The link is in the description, join my Unreal club now. So on Fab, go and get this survival character, it is completely free. Once again, I will link it in the description, so just add it into your Epic Games library and let's go ahead and import this into our map. Here it is, search for our project and if it doesn't appear, just click on show press select add to project and then after a couple of seconds we should have it in our project so if we go here we go to the content folder here it is survival character we can go into meshes and open up the skeleton mesh so you can see how it looks just let it go ahead and compile the shaders and after a couple of seconds we should there we go here we go it's pretty cool right <laughs> so let's go ahead and replace this character with the one that we're having right now. So for this, just go to world settings and find the game mode. In this case, we don't even have a game mode assigned, but it is this one over here. This is the building system one. As you can see, we have the default pawn class. This is basically the player blueprint. Just click on this icon over here to search it up in the content browser and just right click and do create child. So we're creating a child of this player blueprint. And let's name it BP underscore EBS underscore builder, but then underscore custom. So we know that this is our custom character. 
And with that done, the only thing that we have to do is select our mesh, go to the skeleton mesh asset, and select survival character. And here we have our new character. So we go ahead and press play, nothing happens. Because we need to make sure that we are spawning in with our new custom character instead of the old default mannequin. So for this, just drag the new custom character into our default pawn class, okay? And when we do this, now we actually get spawned with a new character. But there's something wrong. <laughs> what is going on with this long arm that we're having? Well, that's just because of the animation blueprint. The skeleton is not entirely compatible with all of the things going on. So the solution is to just Command Z or Control Z, depending on your Windows or Mac. So what we're going to do is go and select our mesh and add a new skeleton mesh as a child. And this will be our custom one. Now over here, go and select the survival character. Now you will realize that we have two characters at the same time. So what we're gonna be doing is copying the animations from our mannequin into our custom character in real time. And that will make sure that our arms and all that stuff and in general body proportions will not bug out because they're separate. So to do this, let's go ahead and just create a new character. Uh, sorry, animation blueprint. So we can just do it over here. Just right click, go to animation blueprint, and find your survival character, which is over here, or whatever character you're using, obviously. Then name this ABP underscore custom and open this up and simply drag from here and do retarget pose from mesh. If we compile, we have an error because we have to assign an IK retargeted asset. But we don't have one yet, we have to create it. So go over here and find the mannequin, which is under here, and then mannequin, and then open up the animations folder and literally find any animation, doesn't matter. Just right click on any animation and do retarget animations. So now the source will be the mannequin, but the target will be our new survival character. And now we can just click on export retarget assets and then we need to maybe like create a new folder with the retargeter and then click on export and then we can close this window and we have this thing called auto generated so instead of calling it auto generated do mannequin to custom okay now we save everything and then we click this thing you can see that we are basically copying and pasting one character into another and we're going to be copying the animations which is quite cool so now with that done let's just go back to the abp select this and now simply assign the character asset to be this one okay so the mannequin to custom compile close this and now back in the animation blueprint select our custom character and for the nm class it will be the abp custom and now as you can see, we're following the animations. The last thing that we have to do is obviously hide the mannequin. So select the mesh, which is the mannequin, search for visibility and disable it. But one more thing, go to this drop down over here and do always tick pose and refresh bones. Okay, if we press play, now as you can see, we have the new character in place and everything still works as it should, <laughs> which is really, really cool. So there we go, we have our character inside the game. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add an insane environment into our game. So in this case, we're gonna be using this procedural nature pack from Fab. It is completely free, so just go ahead and add this into your Epic Games library. So then in Epic Game, just find it, go ahead and add this into your project, search for the survival project, click on show all. Now you will see that the latest compatible version is 5.4, not 5.6. It doesn't matter just click on add to project and it will go ahead and add into the map now even though it's 5.4 it will be compatible with 5.6 which is what we want so don't worry okay so you can see it has imported is right over here and we have all the meshes that we would need so let's go up here into file new level and just select to empty level click on create go on to uh, window and open up environment light mixture and click on all the buttons. So now we have a beautiful sky. Now in the exponential height fog, scroll down and you see volumetric fog and enable this so it looks even better. 
Then just go into the selection mode and put in landscape. Scroll down and click on create. Now we have a beautiful landscape. Now select this landscape, scroll down until you see the material, which is landscape material. And then we have to select one of our auto uh, landscapes. Now in this case, let me go to the nature pack. And what we want to do is find our material for the landscape, which I imagine it will be on here. So on terrain function uh, or just terrain. Yeah, we go terrain. Okay, so let's select grass and just put it over here. And now we have a beautiful grass landscape. Obviously it looks terrible because it is repeated it across because we don't have any trees or whatever to kind of, you know, mix it all up. So up here, go to foliage. Now let's paint some cool trees. So once again, in the procedural nature pack, just go to the meshes and then find some trees. Like for example, uh, not this ones, but you know, this one. So just drag it in here. And then we also want to find uh, some other part here and we might want okay well that works oh yeah some leaves also and then we can basically start to go ahead and paint but obviously we're painting too much of one tree so let's select the big tree and we're going to change the density right so on the density just put like 10 and as you can see we have less now we need to even lower this a bit so in the main density put this 2.1 and now it's a bit better. So we want to start to put in some trees in our map. Okay, just like this. And then what we want to do is select all of them and disable this. We zoom in. I see that we have some grass, but it's very low. So what I want to do is add some more grass. So just add it over here. Slightly grass and then start painting. Uh, but we're gonna increase the density to like one because we want a lot of grass. Perfect. Uh, we want even more grass. So let me just go to an aerial view. And yes, I am doing this with a trackpad, my MacBook laptop. So <laughs> that's why it's a bit hard for me. Okay, perfect. Now I also wanna go ahead and do landscape and I wanna sculpt a bit. You know, not so much, but just like we want to do some shapes. So it looks more like an actual, you know, environment. Uh, and let's do this specifically on the edges. So we can also can hide the other part. And with that, we start to have a really cool environment. We just need to go into the quickly after print, go to all, search for the post process volume and drag it. And over here, Let's search for infinite, enable this, go to exposure, and simply decrease the compensation. And if we press play, we have a pretty cool environment with trees and everything. We might need to just go ahead and add a couple more trees. So let me go ahead and actually do this right now. Okay, added some more trees. Now let's also go to the quickly add to the project and search for a player start which is gonna be the spawning points, just drag it like kind of in the middle. Then also go to wall settings and on the game mode override, select the BP EVS, which is our one. And then command shift S or control shift S and save this as our main map. And then when we press play, we are here and we can actually go ahead and look around and it's starting to feel pretty cool. And yeah, we can now go ahead and use press Q and start to actually build our stuff, except for one thing, which is the trace doesn't let it, uh, the floor and therefore we cannot build anything. So how can we fix this? Well, let's go ahead and do this. So to fix this, you select the landscape, search for collision, scroll down to the collision presets, and then you see generate overlap events, just enable this. And when we do this and select now the foundation, we can actually go ahead and place it, which is exactly what we want. There we go. So go ahead and working, we can jump on it and continue. But we obviously maybe want to have this in first person so it looks a bit cooler. 
So for this, let's go ahead and go to World Settings, find our player character, click on this icon over here to search it, double click to open it up. Then on the viewport, let's get the camera boom and put the length to zero. And then simply get this and drag it inside of our custom. Now we can't do this directly from our custom character because it's a child and this is on the parent. So on the construction script, just get this and do a attach component to component. So the target will be the camera boom and the parent will be this custom character. The socket will basically be the head. So yeah, literally like that. So you spell it exactly like this and then snap, snap and snap. And if we do this, it will work. But obviously, you know, we have the camera a bit not, you know, in the correct uh, place. So we might need to uh, do some things for the rotation. So we simply need to go ahead and go to the defaults. Make sure that y'all is disabled. Go to the character movement component. Scroll down to the rotation settings. Which is right here. And enable use control desired rotation. And disable arrange rotation to movement. And when we do this. We have our character properly. With a first person approach. And we can have uh, icons and everything. So there we go, it's going ahead and uh, working just fine as you can see. Now I'm gonna just add a few more trees so it looks better. And that's it, and that's it, we have a really cool survival game going on. Literally a couple of minutes, obviously. We need to get the inventory going on and some other things, but this is the basic. So if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it. If you like the video and subscribe to my channel, join my own group club, and now yes, that's all I said. Bye.